want to talk to you. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. I want you to share your knowledge. Teach me alchemy. You? <laughs> My apprentice? <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if he'll share Spikarog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> Is that so? Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy. Sun, literary. Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics, choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids. If you think I'll simply portray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. I'd be a good student. Doubtful. You can't even grasp the simple notion that I want you to leave. Hmm. The way I'm preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me. And I shall accept you as my apprentice. Well, well. There's a way after all. Get off your high horse and listen. First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muskogan forest. Second, I need a bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hale Hill. Finally, convince Fridjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If ye wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and when to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. You, Fritjof? That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me? Drifter, stranger, mutant. Sometimes even by my name. Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> a man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Grammist wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him, for old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. But fear that... Wait just a moment. Perhaps you could help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill, involving your soul. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. 
What do you say? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Grimmest afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. Sacrifice. Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep. Skuka, Svarm, Fatna, Hala! not managed a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. Will you go see Grimace now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I should gladly have her to... help him with his ritual. Till then. Recently. Ah, another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Grenist has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerged drained with a blank stare. 
and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Grimis to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals. Game, you horny goat woman. Unhand him, hellish creature. Ramond, step away from her. Ah, calm down. I've not been harmed. I came here. You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. Nonsense. I need no spell. These boys come here themselves. In fact, I must use magic to drive them away, make them go home. Only Ramond was nice, so I let him stay. I see through your lies. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster! I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return with one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches, especially not out of gratitude. Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. And you, Ramond, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. Why you need all these flowers? Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. Don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must pick some edelweiss. Take one, but no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cavern cozy.
Get out. left. Oh, 
ought to be enough. Time to cool it down. Stellar. Did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritjof, shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've a long night ahead of us. The ritual is only for members of the inner circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage come morn. As you wish, master. Ha! <laughs> we'll make someone out of you yet, Witcher! <laughs> now off you get! Shoot! Must have another. That's good stuff. Aye, that's the best from Moose Gordon. And spirit from Hail Hell. Good times, Fritjof. <laughs> good times. Finally, something other than damn potions and transmutations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Gerd, I thought I told you to sh stay outside. Only turns in the inner circle. Sharkle Smirkle, let the boy have some fun. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourselves on. Garrett, let the lessons begin.
Drink hard and study hard. I like the idea. Yeah, yeah. I call it stimulation and assimilation. First you stimulate, and then <laughs> you assimilate. A shut down. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. I've practiced a lot already. Good thing. I'll make learning my secret method easier. Look, you take the potion like this, and go. Who said old age is a burden? Interesting. Guess they're all that's left of the lumberjacks. One. Greetings, Watcher. Hear about the missing miners. Might be able to help. What happened? Well, we'd heard tales of silver in the northern hills. And seen as coins needed to ready long ships for raids, we sent a few lads to see how much truth was in the tales. And, well, they've yet to return. Might not be much silver in the hills, but there are monsters, definitely. I'll see if the miners came across any. Thank you, Witcher. 
you with her? Hey, yeah. camp. Could find some clues. Footprints. Human. Yet a rich vein. Something went wrong. caused by a blunt instrument. Red cage smashed in. Someone crawled through here with a broken leg. like dead just dead extensive bruising and abrasions broken bones Silver vein. What they came for. What they died for. say they were asking for trouble. I'll let it slide this time. But kill any other humans, and I'll come back and cut off your head. Understand? No. Words are words many. Hurt head. Let me try again. Wham a wham mans again. I'll swish a swash a swunk you. Oh. No more troll wham. And this man take for be good man, and no swisher swash.
Wait, I want to talk. Huh? Exactly. Then the... From what you said. No! Let me try again. Oh. No more troll, Wan. And this man take for be good man and no Swiss wash. Too many foreigners in the air. Greetings, Watcher. 
Found your miners. They went in a troll's cave and started mining, while the troll was home. Did they any? No. Troll won't be any more trouble, though. Small comfort. Still earned my reward. Yeah, here. Safe journey to you. What's this offer? Got a contract for me? Might do. If you're willing to partner with me. Usually work alone. Could pay to make an exception this time. It's not every day you get a chance to work with the most renowned bounty hunter north of the Yaruga, Jenga Fred himself. I'll bite. What's the famous Jenga Fred need a witcher for? I'm guessing you're a man of the world. Perhaps you've come across the Grossbart brothers in your travels. You hunting them? Aye. Quite the rogues they are. Three of them. And every one's got a pack of rapes and murders under his belt. Even took to grave robbing lately. Easy to recognize on account of the yellow caps they wear. Folks see three yellow tops, they flee to their huts. Which don't help much, of course. Because they're also fond of arson. No, haven't met him. If you do, tread careful. They're quick to stick a knife in a man's gut. Often just by way of greeting. Doubt they'd try that with a witcher. You never know with that lot. Right. Well, I head south soon. I haven't looked there yet. Fare you well. We might meet again someday.
not your lucky day. Thank you, White One. You're not one of us, but you sure fight like an islander. How's it you came to Skellige? Long story. Got something to take care of here. As we all do. Me, for instance, I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? Pirates took her. But I'll get them in me grip and squeeze. Regret their mothers ever bore them as they shit themselves. Nowhere to go. Got any clues? These two here, before they pounced on me, said their captain had set sail for Hindersfjall. Kurisu were on board his longboat. Hope you find her. Listen, if... If you come across those pirates or see Kurisu anywhere, tell her to go to Blandair. Tell her to go home. Got my word on that. Farewell. We meet again. So, you change your mind. Wanna hunt the Rossbart brothers with me? Easy coin for you. Yeah, we can hunt them together. Run! Let's get going then. I've picked up their trail. They shouldn't be far. Went well, I thought. Maybe you'd consider working together for a spell. Seems you have a gift for this kind of work. Thanks. Once is enough. So long.
Come on. survived. Priestesses of Freya would have tended to any survivors. Only ones around here with any notion about medical care. Welcome to the Temple of Freya. I'm Kirisu. How can I help? You're Kirisu? I Ran into your brother. He's scouring all Skellige for you. You know him? Truly? How is he? Fine. Mentioned some pirates had kidnapped you. It was the most horrible night of my life. I remember fire, cries, and the clink of iron against iron. They herded us on a long ship toward dawn a storm broke. It was mayhem. So I took advantage and jumped overboard. Sisters Astrid and Dalla found me on the beach, near dead. They brought me to the temple, watched over me. I owe them my life. You were lucky. Very. True. Soon as I get back to Bland Air, me and my brother will make an offering to Freya. And I thank you for your help. Take care now. That's it, Roach.
Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. <laughs> 